<laughs> Hello and welcome to today's Yuletide Creed with Reed. Today we have a special guest all the way from Sweden, Emma Lofblad. So, Emma, as we all know, Christmas is just around the corner. Is there any special traditions over there that you'd like to share with us? There is one. It's very traditional. In Sweden, around Christmas time, we eat Christmas porridge, or oatmeal, and you get the pot, and then you put the oatmeal in, and you cook it, and when it's done, you put one almond in there, and whoever gets the almond in their plate and chokes on it, gets good luck. Doesn't that sound kind of dangerous? Like, people could choke and die, maybe? It's like Russian roulette, but eating. That's a little out there, I think. We don't exactly have a uh, porridge, but we do have some cookies. <gasps> cookies! <laughs> so now let's cut to the chase. When do you guys open presents, and when do they get there? They've been there since we decorated the house and wrapped the presents whenever we feel like wrapping the presents, because we're lazy. So then where's Santa? He comes on the 24th, and we open the presents at Christmas Eve. Morning, evening, evening midday? Evening, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? This cookie is awesome. I bet. Uh -huh. So, for today, we have a special guest, Samantha Ripley. Special family traditions you'd like to share with us this year? Well, we always make deer turds. So you eat poop? No, no, it's a story. Um, so my cousins, they came over, they were coming over for Christmas, and my mom got this new recipe. And then my cousin Garrett loved these deer turds. It's rice crispy drops, marshmallows, and almond bark. Wait, let me guess, you just took a poop in them? No, no. They just look like a piece of poop because they're just a blob of all that stuff mixed together. And then my cousin Wyatt came over, and he's like, ooh, what are those? My cousin's like, Dear turds, you don't want them. They're disgusting. And so we watch So, Ripley, do you have any other family traditions you'd like to share with us on this fine morning? Well, um, the day... Yeah, I make it faster. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, after Thanksgiving's over that weekend, we decorate our tree, which is over there. I get paid by the show, not the minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um... This is our tree, and we decorated today. This year we did gold and red theme. And this is my dad. <laughs> you look kind of cute. See? <laughs> so, yeah, that's my Christmas. <laughs> Have a good one. We'll be back tomorrow. You pied Creed to read. So, do you have any uh, Christmas traditions you'd like to share with us on this fine morning? I do. On Christmas Day, we, my family, we do scavenger hunts where people have to look up, have to look around the house for certain Christmas presents. So, what happens when they get hid too well and you just don't find them? Uh, they have to wait until everyone else has opened their presents, and then we go and show them where their present was. And then they can open it after everyone else is done. So has that ever happened to you? It has not. I've been able to find all my presents so far. Has it ever happened in general? Yeah, my cousins are really bad at doing it. My brothers and I are pretty good, but my cousins really suck at it. They're one of those cousins. Yeah, they're you one of those. You don't like them, do you? They're all right. They're all out there, though. Yeah, they're a little different. So, do you have any other family traditions you'd like to share with us, or things you do around the Christmas time, New Year's time? No, not really. I mean, Christmas is our biggest tradition, so we go into each other's houses and have dinner and open presents, and that's about it. But. When do you open presents? Christmas Day. In the morning? In the morning. When does Santa come? Christmas Eve. At night. Christmas Eve? All the little kids bake cookies and we all set them up for Santa. Have you ever saw him? 
I have not. I have not seen Tana. He's a fat one. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so. I don't know how he does it. He's done all those darn chimneys. Okay, so we have one last final guest, Mariah Tweet. So, oh, Mariah, do you, do you have any like special family traditions you'd like to share with us? Okay, so, one year, we had this Mexican, like, brown bread thing, and they put baby Jesus in there, right? Baby Jesus? Yeah, baby Jesus. Was there, like, water in there, and was he on top of no, it? Like, no, 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 he was, like, in the bread, so you had to cut it up and try to find the baby Jesus, and then you got the prize. Well, someone ate the baby Jesus, because we could not find the baby Jesus. So, no one won, and I was really ticked off, because I'm broke. Right? I, I guess so. I mean, I kind of feel sorry for every baby Jesus. I mean, well, Bill should be walking on top of the toilet water, but. <laughs> He's a holy. Whoever it is is really holy. Uh. Yeah. So that's what I ate it. I guess. Gotta get that Holy Spirit. So, when does Santa come? Well, it varies. It varies. Does cool. he like not have a set schedule at your house? No, because or... I get cold half the time, okay? So, this is all it, okay? So, some days we do it in the morning, or some years, and some years we like do it at night after church service. Oh. Yeah. See, this year we have to do it in the afternoon. Afternoon? That's no fun. I know, it sucks. Thank you for watching this year's episode of Yuletide Creed with Reed. Hope to see you next year. Merry Christmas! Does it not work anymore, Sam? That's no fun. I know, it sucks. Balls. Christmas balls, that is, right? Yes. Merry uh, Jingle Christmas. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> so, Autumn, do you have any fine Christmas? So, you came all the way from. <laughs> hey, Reed, do the closing. What do I say? Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year!